as some of you may know, I love watching Disney Channel. And on, <laughs> and on Disney Channel, they have something called My 30 Things. This is when an actor from a Disney show lists their favorite things. So, I'll be doing something similar, but instead, I'll list the top 10 things that I learned in high school. <laughs> Number one, don't be afraid to ask questions or ask for help. My junior year, I never wanted to ask questions. And where did that get me? Nowhere. <laughs> My teacher told me that if I don't understand something, not to be afraid to ask questions because it will help me in the long run. I used to have a conversation with myself, saying, all you have to do is walk into the next room and ask for help. It's not that hard. <laughs> don't feel like you have to do everything all by yourself because everyone needs help at some point. Number two, use your plan and learn to use your plan schedule. Don't go off memory like I used to do. You end up forgetting what you have to do, and that leads to missing assignments and stress. This not taught me how to teach a plan by writing my schedule out on the whiteboard or a sheet of paper, and it's much easier to visually see what I have to do and what I do. Thanks for that. <laughs> Number three, find a check. The start. I know I've told you about how much I don't like doing these, <laughs> but they're super useful. And I've never seen my binders cleaner and more organized. <laughs> Number four, don't wait until you get to school to do homework. I am the type of person who doesn't like doing homework at home, so I always wait until you get to support block to do it all. However, I don't advise doing this because it makes school more stressful and you end up with more work rather than if you just did it at home. <laughs> Use support block time wisely, you won't regret it. <laughs> Number five, AST. I think favorite letters. <laughs> Number six, don't stress. Not leaving this is easier said than done. Stressing over assignments and other school struggles don't get you anywhere. Spend more time worrying about those things that really aren't worth worrying about. In the end, everything will be fine. Number seven, involve yourself with school activities. I'm so happy that I joined many clubs here on campus. I enjoy that so much more than sitting by myself, and I encourage you to do the same. Number eight, snack shop. Oh, snack shop, who do I start? <laughs> I love working in the snack shop. I had an amazing experience, and it will be with me forever when I use it at my job in the real world. Number nine, you don't need to have a lot of friends just because you see that other people have lots of friends. I always thought that having more friends was better, but I learned that sometimes you need a few great quality friends instead of a bunch of fake ones. And last but not least, number 10. <laughs> number 10. <laughs> Be yourself. I always compare myself to other people, and it only made me feel worse about myself. You're perfect just the way you are. So there you have it. <laughs> Top 10 things I learned in high school. I hope that you've learned something from me today, and that you can use these tips when you enter high school. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to miss your career econ classes being the manager of the snack shack and most importantly the snack shack itself. Thank you to you and the snack shack for all the amazing skills and memories. I'll miss you next year. Miss Whitcomb. Thanks for drilling and throwing me into my brain. I will never forget it. Oh, and one last thing. Let's eat grandma. Sorry, forgot the comma. The start. Where do I even begin? All of our conversations Finding off topic moments in class, <laughs> your help and advice, and so much more. <laughs> Thank you for making my four years of high school fun. I'll miss you so much. <laughs> As Collins, <laughs> I love being a part of Speak Club. You've taught me so much, and I'm thankful I had you for so many classes. <laughs> to my two favorite art teachers, Ms. Rudolph and Ms. Solid. <laughs> I am so thankful I got to be in both of your art classes. Thank you for teaching me so much about art and introducing me to my favorite art mediums. I'll miss you and your cubs both so much. <laughs> <It's Mac. laughs> I'm so glad you came to the school this year. I know we only met recently, but ASP is so much fun with you there. <laughs> also, thank you for teaching me to your clinic and for all your help. So useful. I'll miss you so much. <laughs> all the class students. <laughs> wow.
Wow, so many memories. I love all of them, especially the cohort. <laughs> I'm so glad we've become closer over the past two years. And thank you for always being there for me. I'll miss you all so much next year. <laughs> Dad, <laughs> thank you so much for helping me with my schoolwork and everything you've done for me. I'm so grateful to have a dad like you. I love you so much. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> thank you so much for putting up with me for the past 18 years. <laughs> I know it's a lot. And I know we can sometimes, but I truly love, love you. And I appreciate every single thing you've done for me. I can't think of a better person to be an advocate and supporter. Thank you so much, and I can't wait for our next chapter together. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>